Hello guys and welcome and probably if you are watching this video or if you clicked on this video you are absolutely new to cryptocurrencies and you have no idea what is cryptocurrencies and why there are so many cryptocurrencies and I am in this market guys for a couple of years already about four years in cryptocurrencies in Bitcoin I'm buying cryptocurrencies and by the way guys most of my money is actually invested in cryptocurrencies rather in fiat money which is dollars or euros or Great Britain pounds so guys why there are so many cryptocurrencies and I will try to explain it to you in this video because many of my friends recently also start asking what is cryptocurrencies what are bitcoins and which cryptocurrency should I invest and so on and so forth what I will be using for this explanation is coin market cap and coin market cap is one of the best or one of the most known cryptocurrency listing websites and you can go to this website whenever you want like coinmarketcap.com guys and you can check loads of different different cryptocurrencies as you can see here on the top corner you can see cryptocurrencies 2186 so on coin market caps there are listed 2186 different cryptocurrencies however these are still not all cryptocurrencies which are out there these are only cryptocurrencies which has at least ten thousand dollars in last 24 hour trading this means on different cryptocurrency exchanges they have been traded not less than uh, $10,000 so the, they are listed here on coin market cap and these are 2186 and my friends actually recently some of my friends were asking me I want to get into the bitcoins why there are so many bitcoins and do, in which bitcoin should I actually invest and this means that these guys have no clue what is cryptocurrencies because there is only one bitcoin as you see one cryptocurrency which is bitcoins and all the rest cryptocurrencies are also known as altcoins however they are also cryptocurrencies but why they are all known as cryptocurrencies is because guys they are using cryptography in developing of these different cryptocurrencies and they are secure they are very safe and there is different purposes for each of cryptocurrency which you can see here on the screen guys and some of them are shitcoins and shitcoins are those cryptocurrencies who has no purpose for example there is different uh, cryptocurrencies which have been created they have some idea on their white paper they are saying that we they will deliver on some projects they have created an ICO guys they have collected money but they still haven't delivered any project so far guys so this is very dangerous to invest in such type of cryptocurrency so first thing you have to understand is that each of these cryptocurrencies has their purpose but not all of them has a project working project behind them and you always whenever you want to invest in any cryptocurrency at all guys you can make huge money you can make 50x you can make make 100x by investing for example you buy cryptocurrency by by x i mean that if you are investing in cryptocurrency for example one dollar you can make 50 dollars out of investing if that project goes through and it is successful project and this is what is actually happening in crypto world that's why people are becoming millionaires by investing in different cryptocurrencies so now let's i will just go through some of examples about different cryptocurrencies and here on the coin market cap you can see that cryptocurrencies are listed one two three four five and so on and so forth this means that starting from first cryptocurrency this is the most traded and most popular cryptocurrency and it has the most value and obviously that is bitcoin and bitcoin in general is a cryptocurrency which was created the first cryptocurrency back in 2008 and it started operating or transaction first transaction was created on bitcoin blockchain in 2009 i'm uh, recommending for anyone who is new to cryptocurrencies don't invest in other altcoins until you fully understand how they work because firstly if you want to be as investor and you want to invest in some cryptocurrency my recommendation would be go with bitcoin however guys i'm not a financial advisor and you only you can decide whether you want to invest in these cryptocurrencies or you don't want to invest them but me myself i am fully invested in different cryptocurrencies 
because I believe in projects behind these cryptocurrencies. But the most popular and which will definitely be huge and in future it will cost huge amounts of money is Bitcoin guys. Because this cryptocurrency is fully decentralized, nobody can stop this cryptocurrency and nobody controls this cryptocurrency. That's why Bitcoin is the most popular and most powerful. So guys, what's the difference is between all these different cryptocurrencies like for example Bitcoin and currently as you can see here price Bitcoin costs $7,991 and uh, its volume is this volume is 23 billion 455 million 983.489 so what you can see here on coin market cap probably these numbers doesn't make a big sense to you but we can see that there is the market cap this is what is total if you for example take total circulating supply of bitcoin as you can see here and if you take coin market cap if you will divide coin market cap by circulating supply you will get the price of bitcoin this means that you you can take the total amount of how how much is market cap of particular cryptocurrency and divide by circulating supply of that cryptocurrency and you will get the price of that particular cryptocurrency and this this is what is market cap price and circulating supply and volume in 24 hours this is the volume which has been traded on different cryptocurrency exchanges not on one cryptocurrency exchange but here on coin market cap they are taking a volume from all different cryptocurrency exchanges and showing you how how much money have been circulating buying and selling uh, for example bitcoin in the last 24 hours so bitcoin has been bought and sold worth of 23 billion 450 five million dollars in last 24 hours so do you see that this amount is huge so people pretty much are buying and selling all these cryptocurrencies and here change in 24 hours this means that bitcoin has gone up by 9% 9.3% and this is as you know huge guys if you are for example from stock market and in my future videos I will be t uh, showing you or explaining you stock market trading as well for beginners where we will go through all financial instruments which you can tra trade what they mean like bonds CFDs and then I will explain you about that markets but today we will talk about only about cryptocurrencies because cryptocurrencies are totally different and if you come from from, for example trading traditional stock markets you will be very surprised because cryptocurrency market is very very volatile Bitcoin can go up by 1000 in one day and it can go down by 1000 in the next day guys so it is very really volatile and if you learn to trade for example cryptocurrencies you can make a huge profits and in this trading in leverage trading and margin trading we will also get in my future videos so guys if you are interested in these types of videos just please subscribe hit the bell icon on subscribe button so you get notified whenever i publish a new video guys so let's talk about other cryptocurrencies and the purposes behind them so we know that bitcoin is a stored value and bitcoin is a cryptocurrency which you can use for pretty much as currency if you are using for example euros or dollars for buying and selling this is the same with bitcoin but the difference is that there will be only limited amount of bitcoin only 21 million ever bitcoin will be generated as you can see in circulating supply currently there is only 17 million 709 bitcoin point 437 bitcoin generated and these bitcoins are generated in mining process every 10 minutes currently is generated only 12.5 bitcoin guys and every four years there is the halving or every 200 and 10,000 blocks there is the halving where these mining rewards are getting cut in half currently it is 12.5 bitcoin and in 2020 year there will be another halving which will make bitcoin's price even higher because miners will be getting reward only for mining a block with different transactions only 6.25 bitcoin so bitcoin is deflationary currency guys and this is pretty much as currency and there is a main Many, many more things about Bitcoin we, I could talk uh, like for hours but I will not be getting more de in detail about Bitcoin but let's talk about purposes of other cryptocurrencies for example Ethereum which is second most popular cryptocurrency how it is different like I mentioned that the 
the very beginning of this video all these different cryptocurrencies they serve a different purpose all they have been created to serve a different purpose if you think about businesses like stock market then apple is producing technology watches and so on and so forth then we have and, and apple has a stocks and google for example uh, google is doing other things it is like search engine it is ads revenue it is like different application platforms and so on and so forth and if we think about amazon then amazon also has the stocks in stock market however the purpose of amazon is totally different it is like online shopping platform where everybody can buy and sell all around the world and uh, get that products delivered straight to their doors. So you see that in current stock market there is also different businesses. You can invest in stocks if you are investing in stocks. One big difference is that if you have to buy minimum one stock but for example if you would want to buy any of the cryptocurrencies you can get 0.001 of that particular cryptocurrency. You don't need to buy one Bitcoin if you want to invest in Bitcoin. You can buy Bitcoin for 20 dollars guys as i explained in my bitcoin tutorial bitcoin has eight decimal places after one or this means that there is 100 million satoshis in one bitcoin and you can buy 10 satoshis if you want for 10 dollars or however however how much it costs and or you can buy 100 satoshis like it's a similar like uh, dollar has or euro or great british pound has two decimal places and this means that they have only 100 smaller units in that particular currency so in any different currencies this might vary and you can buy smaller parts of these cryptocurrencies which are listed here which is doesn't apply for neo for example which is considered to be as a neo for and ontology these are two different cryptocurrencies which are considered to be like chinese ethereum so let's talk about what is ethereum ethereum is second Second generation cryptocurrency guys this is cryptocurrency if we think about bitcoin bitcoin is kind of money internet money which you can use for buying selling but ethereum is actually smart contract platform this is a smart contract cryptocurrency platform so they have a cryptocurrency and at the same time they have smart contract platform and smart contract platform where developers can build dApps and dApps are decentralized applications if you think about current web or about current web applications then there are all different websites out there but they are all centralized they run on servers where ethereum is creating environment where you can create a smart contract dApps or the same websites websites are called apps but ethereum has a dApps decentralized applications this means that they include uh, decentralized information smart contracts in these dApps guys so for example to quickly try to explain you what is a smart contract guys so imagine that there you want to buy a house from John and John has that house and currently what you would have to do in current system you would have to go to do all different paperwork for example you would have to go to different institutions you would have to go to hire a lawyer and uh, and so on and so forth to do all paperwork where for example if there is such a DAP and all information about you and about John is on blockchain and this information is decentralized and it is transparent anyone can check this for example if you would want to buy now property from john then you make a smart contract with john and on blockchain there is information that john owes that particular house or apartment which you want to buy from john and you have ethereum on the same blockchain and on smart contract you write that when you will transfer to john ethereum then John's apartment or house will go to, into your property and it will be registered on blockchain guys and this is very very powerful because all you need to do is write one smart contract and that smart contract actually will do all the rest of job this means that when you will transfer ethereum to John or money ethereum for example to john then automatically smart contract will execute and will transfer john's apartment or house whatever he is selling to you on blockchain as your property guys this is just a small explanation this doesn't get into great detail but this is main idea about smart contracts that everything is happening on blockchain and everything is happening much faster than in current system so you could pretty much sell and buy houses in 15 minutes rather than wasting 
uh, three months up to one year and in different lawyers and running around different instances and so on and so forth so guys this is smart contracts and this is what ethereum for example does then we have xrp which is uh, third biggest cryptocurrency here and it also serves a different purpose xrp is actually centralized it is not decentralized blockchain technology but this is centralized and this takes kind of away power from xrp because xrp can be fully manipulated by people behind it and the main purpose of blockchain technology like bitcoin bitcoin's main purpose was to be decentralized so nobody can control it and only people who are using if there is 20 million people then we people we are in control of all everything what is happening on this blockchain and there is no one party there is no one database or one point of failure which could affect everyone who is using that technology so this is the main idea of blockchain technology where xrp is kind of money transferring system which is created by ripple and this is banking system or they are trying to replace banking system money transfers between country to, and to country and so on and so forth however in bitcoin i could transfer millions of dollars in 15 minutes from my mobile phone to, let's say africa or anywhere in the world and that is one of the main things why bitcoin is so powerful but xrp is going more uh, centralized because it wants to uh, give more power to bankers and to governments and to control and so on and so forth however we will talk about these all different cryptocurrencies in depth in more depth in my videos guys and if you are interested just leave in comments what cryptocurrency you would want me to cover what you would what cryptocurrency in future you would want me to talk about on my videos and bitcoin cash some of the guys says that this is a scam coin however me myself i don't think that this is a scam coin only thing what roger Weir, roger Weir is the developer pretty much he is pretty much using bitcoin.com domain to promote his bitcoin cash however bitcoin cash is useful crypto cryptocurrency to my opinion and this is the fork of bitcoin and we will talk on this channel about what is forks as well but this is the fork of bitcoin like bitcoin cash is fork of bitcoin if we look at litecoin litecoin is also a fork of bitcoin and so on and so forth so i will cover all this in other videos and yes eos eos is as well smart contract platform then we have like let's say binance coin binance coin is token which has been created on ethereum blockchain technology and there is much much more the main thing here is to understand that all these different cryptocurrencies obviously i will not be able to cover all of them they serve their own purpose and that's the main thing behind them and like i mentioned at the very beginning there is also shit coins there are only cryptocurrencies or the these projects which has been created where you could make let's say lots of money in future if they succeed and they are usually at the very bottom or somewhere very very far away from the very beginning of this coin market cap listing because they have small uh, market caps and they have small volumes because not many people are investing in them and if they come up with a good idea you could make a huge amounts of money if you look here at neo neo currently costs one eleven dollars however all cryptocurrency fell by 85 percent to 90 percent in the last years because this was a recession and many people are asking why cryptocurrencies have fallen so so much because for example bitcoin was 20k and it fell down to 3k and now it's back to 8k so these are only my market cycles and every market cycle is getting better as you if you don't know guys for example bitcoin first when it was going up it was 100 dollars then it fell down to 20 dollars then it was going up it went up to 1000 dollars then it fell down and now then it went up to 20 thousand dollars then it fell down these are my market cycles but all the time all cryptocurrencies like for example bitcoin or legit cryptocurrencies they still will be very very expensive in the future and bitcoin will definitely reach hundred thousand five hundred thousand for one bitcoin so yes guys this is quick explanation however it took a lot of time to explain but i hope that you have now good understanding about cryptocurrencies that main thing about all cryptocurrencies is whether they are 
centralized or they are decentralized if they are decentralized this is the main power of blockchain technology and about cryptocurrencies in general and second thing is whether they have a project behind them or it is just an idea on white paper cryptocurrency which you can check by going let's say we let's get into neo cryptocurrency as you see currently it costs 11.55 you can go here on markets you can see on different cryptocurrency exchanges where you can buy this cryptocurrency by transferring bitcoin to that cryptocurrency exchange and then you can buy and sell and exchange and i will show you how you can do that as well in my future videos so yes guys i hope that this video gave you the main understanding what is cryptocurrencies and what they do and if you found it useful leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in my next videos.